Hello folks, in this video I'm going to go through how to determine change or add pin definitions within the Arduino IDE. That's the depiction of me when I get a new development board and I have all these new pins and I'm trying to figure out which is the SBI and the I2C pins and uh, so I had a I got this Lolin 32 and I was going to use that as an example. There's VP and VN and there's LED on the pin 5 but it doesn't doesn't work properly. So um so how do we go about changing and uh, finding out what all these pins are? Uh, first off I'm going, as I said, I'm going to use the ESP32 as an example, although all the boards are the same within the Arduino uh, infrastructure. So what are the pins? What GPIO port numbers do they refer to? Can I change the pins? Yes, you can. Within certain bounds of the hardware itself, the ESP32 or the Arduino or the ESP8266, yes, you can change them. Can I add my own definitions? Yes, you can. You could add a definition for busy, reset, or um, serial two, or any 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 pin you like. You can call any pin any any label you like and make your programming life easier. Here's an extract from the ESP32 datasheet, and it lists all of the GPIO pins on the device. And immediately I found out that VP and VN are probably not guaranteed because the development board designer may not have used these pins. But GPO 36 and 39 are the sensor inputs VP and VN. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I've often wondered what is the TX and RX GPIO pins and their GPIO 1 and 3. So that's serial 0. SPI pin declarations are always difficult to find. Well, these are the recommended uh, GPIO pins by the manufacturer. So, V, SPI, data, clock, and chip select. Similarly, for serial port 2, they're on pin 17 and 16, or GPIO 6, 17 and 16 in um, in this board and also on the in the example so here's a compilation of a simple program which is an analog read and I used VP in brackets there so serial print analog read VP it didn't work it didn't know what VP is it was undeclared so how do we solve that well first of all go to your Arduino IDE files the folder that contains all of the Arduino IDE and then browse down to this location here so hardware expressive ESP32 variants then within variants are all the boards that are listed in your IDE when you go to select a board and there are about uh, 10 12 different variants and the one I'm concentrating on today is Lolin32 open that folder and open pins.arduino.h this is what's inside the file. Immediately I see that uh, LED built-in is on pin 5, which is useful to know. And also there's a, a legacy or a backwards compatible definition for the LED built-in. or Built-in LED is synonymous with LED built-in. So you can put that in your program, um, LED built in as a label. The serial 1 pins are on uh, TX and RX, are on pins 1 and 3, GPIO 1 and 3. I2C pins are on um, 21, 22. And the SPI pins, slave select, master out, slave in, master in, slave out, and slave clock are on 5, 23, 19 and 18. Okay, that's good. Now I know how to connect. There's um, a number of analog port definitions. Quite a lot actually. Note, I'll just pick one at random. Um, analog 12, 
is GPIO 2 pin and it gets used again for the definition of T2. I don't know what T prefix is, timer, it doesn't, I can't actually find out what that means but nonetheless it is used twice but you can use the pin numbers as many times as you like to mean what you like, they're just labels so bear that in mind the digital analog converters there as well so now I want to add VP and VN so I've added those in and also serial port 2 RX2 and TX2 and given them the right pin numbers uh, press save save that file and then restart the IDE because this file is only read when the IDE actually starts so it's no good having your ID running and saving making an amendment because it won't work. Now when I compile the same program again with analog read VP it compiles correctly the compiler has used the definition I put in the Arduino pins file VP and replaced that with 36 so that makes life more, more convenient for programming. So here's an example. I've programmed this Lowland 32 with an SPI um, program. There's no display connected, but it doesn't matter. And you can see the SPI program, because it uses pin 5, is also illuminating the LED. So what I've done is change the slave select pin from pin 5 to pin 2, so that it doesn't interfere with the built-in LED. And then on my display, I'll change that accordingly. Now when I recompile the program, there's no interaction with the LED. That's great. So in summary then, you can determine the pins used by inspecting that pins Arduino file. You can add new definitions, as many as you like, any, any definitions you like. They need obviously to correspond with the GPIO pin. You can change the pin numbers. I changed that slave select from pin two to pin from pin five to pin two, and you can do the same on all of the other uh, board examples. But there's a link to the ESP eight two six six. Hope you found that useful. Enjoy.